This is ECG exercise number uh, 17, page um, 93. So let's begin with a heart rate here. Heart rate is approximately 58 beats per minute. And um, let's just map, measure this out together. So here's a QRS that falls close to a dark line, 300, 150, 175. Uh, 60, so this falls just on the other side of the dark line, as does this, and we'll give it a heart rate of approximately 58 beats per minute. So we're dealing with a bradycardic rhythm right off the bat, we know that. There are P waves, and they're present in upright, and they're pretty consistent in morphology. Um, you know, there's always a little bit of artifact that's going to uh, skew uh, the P wave and QRS morphology a little bit, but they're pretty consistent. Uh, I'd say very little variation. The PR interval is uh, prolonged, it's point uh, two two second. So whatever the rhythm is, we've also got a prolonged P interval. So we've also got a first degree AV block in there. Now the QRS is wide. It's 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 um, about 0 0.12 second. It might even be longer than 0 0.12 second because the the QRS begins. Uh, well, here's one that falls in a dark line, right there, and ends about right there. So that's at least three seconds, if not three and a half or four seconds. So we have a wide QRS. And we have a ratio of P waves to QRS is a one to one. So if we have consistent P waves uh, and a ratio of one to one, then we know we have some kind of sinus rhythm with aberrant conduction. That's when you see a wide QRS, but there's a P wave preceding each of the QRSs, we know we have aberrant conduction. Um, and the rhythm is regular. And the interpretation is a sinus bradycardia, uh, heart rate of uh, 58, which I should have uh, put in there, uh, with aberrancy. Now, um, I don't generally report that there's aberrant conduction when I'm speaking to uh, triage. I just, um, I'll just say the patient's in the sinus bradycardia with a heart rate of 58 uh, and leave it at that. I might document that there's aberrant conduction, but it's neither here nor there. Now, um, uh, you know, aberrant conduction means there's means there's probably an underlying uh, left bundle branch block or a right bundle branch block, uh, and it's not really critical information. Um, now, there's a previous strip that we looked at, um, a secondary AV block type 2 with a YQRS, if you'll recall, and uh, so that would have been aberrant conduction as well. I didn't really speak about the aberrancy in that previous rhythm strip, but that would have been the case. Secondary AV block type 2 uh, with aberrant conduction, I believe the heart rate was 33 on that one. So this is just a sinus bradycardia with aberrant conduction.